What's going on folks? Welcome back to some more Core Punk and today I want to break down what you can expect from the guild system in this game. The vision of Core Punk when it comes to guilds is that they want to make sure that the game doesn't get dominated by Zergs but at the same time it seems like they want to have a pretty fleshed out system when it comes to playing with your community. Currently the maximum capacity for guilds is planned to be tested around 50 players first but I could totally imagine that going up to 100 after a decent amount of time. Although they have said that they're planning to look into a guild alliance system, but they want to be careful about it because again, they want to avoid any kind of zerging meta at all costs. They say that this is something they'll have a final decision on after the upcoming testing phases and initial feedback, and they do plan to jump into other guild related features such as guild wars and territory control. Castle sieges and territory capture events specifically were mentioned in previous Q&As, but this is something we probably won't see until around the open beta or after launch. When you reach level 10 in Core Punk, you'll be able to visit an NPC to register a new guild. This requires paying a fee, and then you'll get access to all the guild features available. The guild bank, chat, ranking system, and more. Guilds can level up through various activities. Most of the guild quest lines are designed to be done by parties or raids of people, but there will be some for individual players as well. Each member should have access to special quest lines that affect guild upgrade points, bonuses, buffs, and other rewards, and when the requirements are met, the guild master can pay a fee and level up the guild from there. There's said to be a total of 10 guild levels, there's also going to be a guild rating system, and this will be based on the points that guilds can earn by completing certain guild objectives. Each guild's rating will be publicly visible in the server statistics, and not only will they be updated weekly, but only the top rated guilds of the week can participate in territory capture events. This begs the question of what these capture events will entail, like if they'll allow us to take over an entire settlement, region, and what bonuses are going to come with. Just by the sounds of it, that's what I'm guessing is going to happen, but after the first upcoming closed beta, unless that gets delayed, I'm sure they'll dive a little bit deeper into that. I should also point out that the guild rating will be determined by the number of active guild members and the size of the guild, and it is said that smaller but active guilds might find it easier to earn points than larger guilds that have many inactive players. When it comes to the guild master, they're not going to receive any special privileges, however in the guild window, their name is going to be surrounded by a special frame so that everybody in the guild knows who's in charge. But there will be special cosmetics that you'll find for guilds only, so that might end up being another really nice incentive to have for members. When it comes to crafters, being in a guild can help you a lot because people can feed you materials to progress faster, however keep in mind that certain materials used in crafting will be bind on pickup so you'll probably need to farm these ones yourself. And the last subject we need to talk about for the guild system in Core Punk is the War Declaration. If you play BDO, it'll work very similar in the open world. You can declare on a guild so that you can freely attack them in the open world, and this will not only keep you safe from getting karma points, but you'll also get increased honor points for killing them. I went into more detail during the last video about the karma and honor point system, so if you're not fully aware of how that works yet, I highly recommend giving it a quick watch. Now there will be a requirement for declaring war on these guilds, it says that you'll have to gather a certain amount of resources and it won't be cheap. At least that should prevent exploiting on that side of things, but that also means that you'll need to pick your targets carefully. Guilds that are at war will automatically show up as hostile, and the other side does not need to agree to the war declaration. But one thing they did say is that the system is planned for after launch, so during the closed beta test we probably won't see this as a thing. And that is actually everything you need to know currently about the guild system in Core Punk. It was a really quick breakdown this time around, but stay tuned because there's going to be several more systems that I want to cover for this game. For now though, thank you so much for watching as always, have a wonderful night or day, and farewell.